Hello, I'm Dr. Nick Alexander, the Director of Dental Hygiene here at Northeast. A lot of people will ask me, what's the job of a dental hygienist? And when you're working in a private practice or whether you're working for the government, it's pretty much the cleaning of teeth, uh, placing sealants, taking radiographs, but I don't like to, to call hygienists tooth cleaners or teeth cleaners. Um, they're all healthcare providers. We have seen uh, numerous lesions on radiographs in this clinic, which are then referred to oral surgeons to get a diagnosis. So, once accepted into the program, it is two years, but it usually takes one year for the prerequisite because it is 32 hours. Some of the prerequisites that you'll see, of course, the hardest ones I feel is the science courses. That's going to be AMP 1 and 2, chemistry with a lab, and microbiology. And then some of your non science is going to be English Comp 1, algebra, speech, psychology, and sociology. Now, I do encourage students who know in high school that this is what they want to do to start doing dual credit because I haven't seen it yet, but you could take all these courses during your junior and senior year and apply and actually start in the program right after high school. So with dual credit now, which is great, this program could last two years, but the majority is a three-year program. The dental hygiene program is actually the only health science program that has clinicals here on campus. So we do have a fully functioning clinic. Our students will take radiographs. They will actually do cleanings here. Uh, it's $15 for the public. Northeast style, faculty, students, it's free. Some of the things they do is sealant placement. And one of the big things that we do during the spring of the year, which is coming up right after spring break, we do sealant day, which is all the second graders in Prentice County have the opportunity to come here and have sealants placed. Uh, we usually have about 60 to 70 people apply each year, and we can only take 20. So it's very important to have a good ACT score and make high grades in the nine prerequisites. The passing rates for those boards on nationals over the last five years is 100%, and clinical boards is 97%. So our attrition rates are 100%, meaning if you get into the program, you usually stay. So we have had a few leave, but it was usually on their own deciding they wanted to go into something else. Job placement is 100% for people that's passed the program, passed nationals, and passed the board certification. The jobs are usually, are mostly in private practice, but we do have some hygienists that are working in, with the government on Indian reservations, and they are just like nursing, they are traveling hygienists now. Most of those are in the D.C., Virginia area, but they can make anywhere from 60 to 70,000. So the pay usually locally around the Boonville area, Lee County, places like that, is anywhere from 40 to 65,000. Of course, the larger the area you go to, the more pay you will, will get. We are in the year 2022, so when you go to the dental office, you will see a lot of times where everything's digital, digital radiographs, paperless. And that's what we're striving to be here at Northeast. Of course, we have to do some things on paper for grading purposes, but most, all of our radiographs are digital, which goes, which goes into Mac practice. And that's our software, and it's used a lot in dental offices. So that's a good thing that when you go for an interview, you have had software, you understand digital radiography. In Mississippi, there's four associate programs. It's Northeast, Mississippi Delta, Meridian, and Pearl River, and there's also a bachelor's program. So there's not many hygiene programs in the state, and again, we require that you have all prerequisites. Some of the other schools do not. Once you graduate here at Northeast, you'll receive an associate's degree, and as I said before, there is a bachelor's program in Jackson. But when a dentist gets ready to interview you and you take a job, you're going to make the exact money as one with a bachelor's program. Now, I'm not saying bachelor program is bad, but if you ever want to teach in a hygiene school, you do have to have a bachelor's program. All of my teachers have bachelor's, master's, one's actually working on their PhD. But for you to get a job in a dental office with the degree you earn here at Northeast, you will be paid the same. Of course, Northeast being right in the corner of the state, it's not just set up for the five county area. We have several students from Tennessee. We've had some from Alabama. A lot of people say, well, I've talked to a friend who can't get a job, job saturation, but that's not really the case. All of our students are placed. I do contribute that, that we do accept out of state students. So if you're from Tennessee, Alabama, feel free to apply to the program. 
The deadline for dental hygiene application is April the 1st, and it has changed here just recently. There is now an online application. So make sure when you go to the Northeast website, you click on dental hygiene if this is the program. You can click on any of the health science programs, but if you want to do dental hygiene, click on that. Then we rank the students, uh, usually somewhere around Memorial Day, and then our student, the 20 that gets accepted, they know when they get into the program. And then if you're accepted into the program, and only then you will have to fill out your physical evaluation, shot records, and have to come in for a criminal background check.